Good morning guys, just taking through another video of a crew cab. This is a 616 crew cab configuration cab chassis. You'll get the same features as a normal single cab, such as the pre-collision warning system, the lane departure warning system, your vehicle stability control, your ABS brakes, this, your ventilated disc brakes. Those are all standard features. But this truck's actually a seven-seater configuration. Great little truck for any jobs that require a decent amount of crew or personnel to be carried to the job site. This 616 can be registered as either a standard car license vehicle in Australia or can be registered as a light vehicle license, a light rigid license at five and a half ton GVM. It's a great little truck that'll suit any council tipper or normal standard trade. You get your diesel tank on the other side, seven seat configuration, the best part about this truck is probably what's inside. It's just opening up from the passenger side rear door. You got four seats in the rear, electric windows, thick cushion seats, headrests as well, independently controlled air conditioning in the rear, your handrails as well, cup holders for the passengers in the rear. You can even fit child restraint points on this as well if required. So if you need this as a work and family vehicle, great little vehicle as well. Four seat in the rear, plenty of storage and plenty of space behind the cab. A nice little compartment storage as well. So you've got your bottle jack and, and tools here as well, but if you've got any other personal effects, you can put some down here as well. Plenty of leg room for a guy like me as well. I find it quite comfortable. Adjustable windows as well. Cigarette. Ashtray if you smoke, non slip steps, plenty of contact points to get in safely. Passenger side view for the, the front. You got your little door bins, cigarette um, ashtrays if required. Little storage component there. Non slip steps as well for extra safety. Plenty of grab handles as well to enter the cab and exit the cab with ease and safety. Big cushion seat, three seats in the front, same as a single cab. Plenty of storage space as you can see. All the safety features which are generally associated within a single cab that I've shown previously are still the same. So you get seat belt warning, you get your lane departure to turn off for pre-collision, vehicle stability, DPR button, headlight adjustment, and your hazard lights. But the extra ones here are the windows. So right and left, controls the rear windows. Multi meter unit, plenty of aircon vents with additional vents in the rear. This one's a fully automatic transmission, which is a great choice for any operator. You need handbrake there. Nice little steering wheel. Just do another pan of the cab inside. And I'll give you one from the rear. Let me hop in the off here. So that's just the rear. View of the driver's side, so you can see the driver's steering wheel with the steering wheel mounted controls. The multimeter unit, automatic transmission, driver's side cup holders, storage space, glove box, open storage compartment, LED lights, grab handles. Plenty of leg room for the passenger, as you can see. Air conditioning, quite powerful in the rear. Also another control as well, for the rear. And that's just associated with the rear. Where is it? Down there. Another air con vent there. Great little feature. Grab handles as well, if the, the ride gets a bit bumpy. Driver side view in the rear. Driver side view in the front. Suspension driver seat for the driver, the most important person in the truck. Steering wheel mounted controls, indicator lights, aircon vents, standard multi information display unit, Hino, 
multimedia unit, reverse buzzer, reverse camera, which hasn't been hooked on yet. Another view of the cab. Great truck, plenty of storage, plenty of capacity. Great for anyone needing a truck that requires a decent amount of members or crew to be carted around as well. Or perfect for someone who's looking for a work unit that can also double up as a family vehicle to pick up the kids. Or just for the extra bit of storage in the rear. There we have it guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Any questions, feel free to send a comment.